This is the Clockwork Pi Pico Calc. It's a really cool kit for tinkerers and makers. But if you ever tried loading a new project onto it, you probably know the drill. You get stuck in that endless loop. Copy, paste, then save. Then you eject the SD card, plug it into your computer, drag the file over, unplug it, and then plug it back into the Pico Calc, only to realize you forgot a crucial file. It's a frustrating workflow that kind of feels like it's from a decade ago. Well, today we're putting an end to that. I'm Jay Blanks, creator of PicoWare, and I'm about to show you how the new GitHub downloader I built into PicoWare version 1.5 transforms that entire mess into a simple, elegant process. It's designed to pull entire projects from the web directly to your device in seconds. In my opinion, the old way of doing things isn't just slow, it's a total creativity killer. This frustration is the exact reason I built this feature. We've all been there, you get a spark of inspiration, find the perfect open source code on GitHub to kickstart your idea, and then your momentum just dies. Instead of creating, you're suddenly playing file manager Tetris. And it's not just the time it wastes, manually moving files is a recipe for simple mistakes. You might accidentally grab an outdated script, forget a helper file buried in a subfolder, or typo a file name, and suddenly you're debugging a problem that has nothing to do with your actual code. It completely shatters your focus and kills the creative vibe we all live for as makers. It turns a moment of excitement into a total chore, and that's the problem I wanted to solve. This is where the new GitHub downloader in PicoWare version 1.5 changes the game. I didn't just design another app, I designed a whole new way to use your PicoCalc. For those who might be new, PicoWare is the open source firmware I created to supercharge the device, adding Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, support for different coding languages, and a bunch of apps. And now I've added a tool that lets you download an entire repository from GitHub over Wi-Fi straight to your PicoCalc's SD card. No more middleman computer, no more manually dragging files, no more fumbling with SD cards. You just find a project you like, feed the author and repository name to your PicoCalc, and let it do all the heavy lifting. I built this tool because I believe your time is for making cool stuff, not for copying files. So let's get this working and change your workflow for good. I'll walk you through it step by step. We're going to go from finding a project online to having it installed on your device in just a couple of minutes. First, let's make sure you're set up. You only need three things. One, your PicoCalc must be running PicoWare version 1.5 or newer. This is essential since that's the version that supports the GitHub downloader. If you're on an older version or still on a different firmware, you'll need to update. The good news is the process is super easy. You just hold the boot button, plug in your Raspberry Pi Pico with a micro USB cable, then drag and drop the UF2 file onto the drive that pops up. I'll link to the official page and a full guide down in the description below. Next, we need to copy the entire apps folder from within builds slash micropython onto our SD card. There are almost 30 apps and games ready to go. On your SD card, create a folder named PicoWare if there isn't a folder there already, and then put the apps folder you downloaded inside. Here's what mine looks like. And lastly, your PicoCalc needs a Wi-Fi connection. The downloader obviously needs the internet to talk to GitHub. So if you haven't done this yet, just click up to enter the library, scroll down and click Wi-Fi. And within here, you can either scan for your network or connect to it right here in the menu. But keep in mind, you can only connect to a 2.4 gigahertz network. 
Once you've got the latest PicoAir, you download the apps and your own Wi-Fi, you're ready to roll. Okay, grab your PicoCalc. From the PicoAir home screen, click up again to enter the library. Then click Applications. Now scroll down and click on GitHub Downloader. The interface is really simple. You'll see a text box waiting for you to enter the author of the repository. For today's tutorial, we'll download a ULISP machine for the PicoCalc called ULISP-PicoCalc by Technoblogy. So type in Technoblogy and then click save. Now another text box will appear, but this time we enter the repository's name. So type in ulisp-picocalc, all one word, and then go down and click save. Now as soon as you press save, your picocalc gets to work. It connects to GitHub, finds that repository, and starts pulling down all the files, keeping the entire file structure intact right onto your SD card. You'll see the progress on the screen so you know it's working. For a small project like this, it's done in a few seconds. And now, the moment of truth. This is where it all pays off. From here, click back to return to the library. Then scroll down and click File Browser. Now scroll down and click the PicoWare folder. Then click the GitHub folder. Lastly, click Technoblogy. And boom, there it is. A new folder named after the project you just downloaded. Let's look inside. You'll see every file and folder perfectly organized just like it was on GitHub. You didn't touch your computer, you didn't shuffle an SD card, you just had an idea, found some code, and beamed it straight to your device. That's the game-changing workflow I wanted to create. So there you have it. With the GitHub Downloader and PicoWare 1.5, the days of tedious file management are officially over. My goal was to make your PicoCalc an active part of your development, letting it reach out and pull inspiration from the huge world of open source projects all by itself. This tool closes the gap between idea and execution, letting you spend your time creating, not organizing files. Now, I'm really excited about the possibilities this opens up. You can be browsing projects on your phone, find something cool, and have it running on your PicoCalc in less than a minute. So I have to ask, what's the first repository you're going to download? Are you grabbing a game, a utility? Let me know down in the comments. And as the creator of this, I'm genuinely excited to see what you all build with it. Now, if this guide was helpful and you're as pumped as I am about this new workflow, do me a favor and hit that like button. And be sure to subscribe for more tutorials and projects for the PicoCalc and other awesome maker hardware. I'm Jay Blinks. Thanks for watching. Peace.